It's game week. Really, I don't have a whole lot to say on my answer questions, really. But uh, we, we moved into game week for the most part yesterday and it finished up fall camp. And I guess we're fairly healthy. And the guys are tired of practicing against each other and, and ready to move forward. And at this point, it's going to be a very short week. Yeah, so we're going to find out. We're going to find out who we are real quick. They play extremely hard, and, and they're well coached, and they're extremely dangerous, in my opinion. Uh, uh, they're 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 going to come here. I, I would expect they will come here expecting to win the football game, and uh, based off their history and 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 the way they're coached and and how they've done the last few years. I don't see any reason why they would come here any other way, uh, and they'll they'll be dangerous and and plenty of you know plenty of good tests for us to find out what kind of football team we're going to have. I think they're still trying to figure that out a little bit because they've they've had to replace some guys. Uh, they're similar to us in a lot of ways. Uh, they will, they will play with some tempo at times, not all the time, at least uh, in their past history, uh, unless that's changed over the off season, which is any typical first game you really don't know. I know they've had some juggling going on at quarterback, trying to find out exactly what they're going to be. If you look at them the last couple of years, they get the ball out quick. They're very balanced. They throw the ball well, uh, complete a high percentage of balls. I think their spring game and some of their scrimmages, their numbers have been, you know, their completion percentage has been really high. A lot of controlled, quick passing game. Uh, defensively, I think they've done a good job recruiting speed. They run really well, uh, and they've uh, they've done a very good job in the special teams. Uh, they've had a really good returner the last couple of years, who's now is going to be their starting running back. And, and I would assume he's going to continue to, to, to return kicks for him. And he's, uh, he's done a great job of that and gotten several in the end zone. So, um, But like anything, first game of the season, you really don't know exactly what changes they've made over the offseason in terms of personnel and scheme. So we'll just kind of have to be prepared for anything. I'm going to be optimistic and think that we're going to go out there and, and we're not going to have procedural penalties and we're not going to turn the ball over. Um, I'd like to think that means we're going to end up in the end zone some. Uh, if you just base it off the progression and how we've done in scrimmages and move forward, and at this point, I mean that's really my expectation. That's what I'm, that's what I'm telling them that uh, that we've we've ironed out, you know, the bugs hopefully, and we've limited the package, and guys are starting to get enough reps now that I mean, it's not going to be real complicated week one. It's going to be very simple. Uh, they will have been working it for 10, 12 days. So uh, we should not have a lot of issues in that sense. We're going to try to eliminate as many moving parts as possible, press the tempo, play fast, and play with great effort, and, and try to eliminate the critical mistakes. So I'm going to be optimistic that we're not going to have those um, going into it. I think to some degree, uh, we like the idea, we like to look complicated, but we really like to be fairly simplistic in that, in, in that sense. We want to make it look complicated for the defense, but as an offense, we try to be very simplistic it's all about repetition and execution, and uh, we 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 know what we're going to run on a given week. It's 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 what we are. It's who we are, and so we're going to get good at those things and and try to make people defend that as opposed to change each week. You're not going to see a different offense out there er, there each week. We're going to continually do the things that we think are effective. So repetition. We've had a we're getting to a point now where we should start reducing and eliminating mistakes. You did mention inexperience. We're going to have some guys out there that don't have a lot, and I think that's just part of how quickly do they grow up, and um, you know, are they able to not let the um, environment of Saturday being a game, an actual game, not let the environment, you know, be an issue. And, and I don't know how they'll respond to that until we're actually in that situation. And we're a Division One team. They're a one double A team or FCS, and. Uh, you know, I played at that level, so I've been on the other side of that. I've coached at that level. Uh, but, yeah, you look at statistics, and, and there's a lot of them that, that go in and, and win uh, every year. So I, all I know is, is yeah, the, the fans and, and the people on the outside will look in and say it's a game you're supposed to win. But I know it's a, it's a game that's very easy to lose if you don't take care of your business. This team is plenty good enough to win that game when they come up here. We've got to do our part. The biggest thing will be they're you know they're really simple, but they're very 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 sound. You know they're not going to beat themselves. They're going to be what they're supposed to be, um, and above all that, they're going to play really hard. Um, you know I, I've been in some of these games you know where that necessarily wasn't the case, but uh, you know they're a good football team, and uh, I am uh, excited to see how that you know how we handle them on Saturday. You know, I think they're a lot better opponent than a lot of people around here think they are. So uh, it'll be a good test. Every offensive coordinator right now for the next three or four days is going to be talking about the same thing, and that's great communication, 
um, you know, handling things off the sideline well, getting on and off the field well, no penalties, you know, it's things you see pre, you know, pre snap, your fall starts, all those things that are really typical first game, sloppy special teams play. Um, you know, and, and, and we have done everything that we can, and I can assure you that we have done that multiple, multiple times to ensure that that's not the case for us. Um, but as always, I'm sure there'll be things in the first game that happen that, uh, you know, the kids don't handle well. And some of that comes with experience. And you know, we've got a lot of guys that are going to go out there and play, really, for the first time, significantly for their first time. Um, so some of it's to be expected, but we're going to do everything we can to eliminate it. Yesterday was really kind of their first test, you know, and we've all got a transition to make. Uh, not only do the kids have a transition to make, but, you know, I've got a transition to make as well, you know, as opposed to the guy that's the, uh, let's see how awful of and tough of an environment as you can possibly make it, you know, mentally, physically, socially. Um, you know, even me now, it's, you know, it's time to be a teacher and it's time to, you know, get our guys in a position to be the best that they can be, not necessarily in terms of teaching concept, but, you know, let's start building this thing around certain players and skill sets those guys have. Um, but it's also a time for me to, you know, it's not time to tell them how bad they are anymore. It's time to, uh, you know, get them excited to play, um, you know, and, and get them believing in what they're doing. And uh, so we've all got a transition to make. But yesterday was really kind of their first day to do it, and I thought they did a great job yesterday. Um, my game wasn't necessarily what we wanted mentally, and I think some of that kind of snapped them back into reality a little bit as camp and the monotony really just started to settle in. But uh, I thought yesterday was very, very, very sharp, and, and, and that was a step in the right direction. I'm really excited to go watch that kid play on Saturday. I'll put it that way. Um, I got a smirk on my face because I know something a lot of other people don't, and that, that kid's going to be a really good football player. Now, will he look like Austin Davis or Bren Renner, or will he, you know, is his skill set similar to theirs at all? Not one bit but he's going to be a really, really special football player. He is a great kid, a great human being, and we're going to do everything we can to make sure that his talents and his skill sets are expressed and put to the forefront where he can be successful. But I've got a really good feeling that he's going to do some special things. I'm really excited to go watch that kid play on Saturday. I'll put it that way. Um, I got a smirk on my face because I know something a lot of other people don't. And that, that kid's going to be a really good football player. Now, will he look like Austin Davis or Bren Renner? Or will he, you know, is his skill set similar to theirs at all? Not one bit. But he's going to be a really, really special football player. He is a great kid, a great human being. And we're going to do everything we can to make sure that his talents and his skill sets are expressed and put to the forefront where he can be successful. But I've got a really good feeling that he's going to do some special things. I think that there, there'll be a very tough football team. You know, I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with the Big Sky. You know, I, I used to coach in the Southland, and uh, we would play the Big Sky uh, different times. And it would primarily it would be in the playoffs. And you, you obviously didn't want to go up there at that time of the year. You'd be playing in snow or ice. and um, So they'll be tough just from my background and knowledge about those guys. Um, we don't know much about them this year. There's so much unknown. They've got a new quarterback that they've announced, uh, a kid from Texas um, that um, you know will be a new guy for them in that position. Uh, their backup quarterback played a couple of games last year. Um, I expected him to be the starter, uh, but obviously they know more about their team than I do. Um, so that kid must be pretty good because I thought the backup was you know, through the ball well. So um, I think their coach, their offensive line has been coached very, very well. They give you a lot of pictures defensively that you have to prepare for. And um, they're going to make you cover the whole field. And uh, they have a lot of misdirection in their, in their plays. So that's what we've seen off last year's film. And uh, so I suspect they'll be somewhat similar. Our focus really has been trying to get better each and every, each and every day and each and every week through fall camp. Um, we've had great days, we've had bad days. Um, so, you know, we just have to continue to improve. I mean, that's the only thing that, that, that we can worry about really is ourselves and trying to get ourselves prepared. Um, I think that that group has grown. Coach Early is doing an outstanding job with those, 
with those guys and getting them to play hard and getting them to play with the technique that we want them to play. Um, so I think it's improving. Um, you know, we just got to stay healthy. That's the big key.